Hello Spartans, hello and welcome to episode 1 of this Pompeii campaign on the Imperator Augustus 3LC which has come out today alongside the Emperor Edition for Total War Round 2. So this is a faction you wanted to play as. I said Pompeii, it's Pompey I think if I'm pronouncing it correctly. People have been telling me already it's pronounced Pompey. So here we go, this was the vote that I did last week. Where I asked you to vote for the faction you wanted to play as, and 31% of you said Pompey. So Pompey's Rome is my let's play for this new 3LC expansion. This has come out, the Imperator Augustus campaign. And I did have exclusive access to the game beforehand, which has been fantastic. So I thank again CA and World for doing that, giving that opportunity. And in that, I did a Marco May let's play. Uh, that was one that I could have carried on, but uh, you didn't vote for that one. Thank God you didn't, because the last episode, series episode 5, I should say, was the downfall of the Marco Mania, and I actually got defeated on that Let's Play episode. I've never actually been defeated on round 2 in my life, so that's either a sign that the game's got a lot harder, or I've got a lot worse. Probably a mixture of both, to be honest with you. But anyway, that Marco Mania campaign is dead. It is gone. So we're here with our new Pompey. Uh, Pompey's Rome campaign. So I'll go through very quickly the details of bonuses and the um, the penalties to this faction. Firstly, the Roman culture, the Roman um, main culture basically has got uh, Roman legion, so one recruitment slot extra for all our provinces, which is excellent. One ruler, so all Roman em so all Roman factions share a major diplomatic penalty with all the other Roman factions. So of course our tensions between Lepidus' Rome. Octavian's Rome and uh, Mark Antony's Rome is horrendous to start with. I think it's about minus 125 before we even go. So it's going to be pretty much civil war from the from the start, I should imagine. And then with our particular faction, Pompey's faction, we've got pioneers of 10% movement range for all our armies. Fantastic. Power struggle, that's 5% corruption in your provinces. Not good. Obviously, an expert seafarer, so one recruitment slot in all ports. Okay. But to be honest with you, because we're on, obviously, our starting positions are islands, possibly having uh, another recruitment slot in our ports will probably be a good thing. So there we go. There's our bonuses and penalties. We've got the hard difficulty. We're going to go for hard because, obviously, this is a ruddy hard campaign. The Marco Mani was hard as well. And I got defeated on hard difficulty in five turns, so hope for five episodes. So maybe I should keep on hard in this one. I think if I went on very hard, I'd completely be decimated. So I'll try that one. I think that's going to give us a very good challenge, especially with our starting locations there. Um, so there we go. We'll leave it on hard. The campaign settings, of course, are no advisor help. Hey, I play a in full. 60 minute battles and no realism on there, but battle realism mode is off. Our victory conditions is. Maintain 60 naval units, maintain 180 units in total, control 90 settlements by the direct ownership or through client states and military allies, and then completely control the following six provinces. Da, 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 da. So obviously, Italia. So we need to take the Rome, city of Rome. We need to take that as part of our campaign. So that's going to be awesome. I can't wait to do that uh, battle if we get to that stage, which I'm sure we will. Be confident. I'm sure we will. So let's start the campaign, and I shall see you on the campaign map in just a second. You are my son, but I've done all I can to protect you. The gods smile on you, Octavian. You're a good soldier. I'm a politician. We don't need more politicians. It's not more speeches in the Senate that will change the world. Rome is dying. Why do you think Caesar favored you so? I was loyal. No, Octavian. He saw in you the potential to continue his legacy. Not to follow him, but to exceed him. Antony cannot be trusted. His heart lies in Egypt. We must confront the reality that civil war is inevitable. And how will bloodshed save the people of Rome? You are not meant to save them. You are meant to lead them. All men are troubled when their moment has come. I am not Caesar. I don't have his strength. The people loved him, and they will love you. 
You can't think like an ordinary man. You must reach beyond mortal ambition and do what has never been done. To survive, my son, Rome must have a master. From your central Mediterranean seat of power, nothing is beyond your reach. Tread carefully, however, for the closest shores are controlled by the second triumvirate, who hate and fear you. Attack now, and you may face retribution from them all. So bide your time. Such a tenuous alliance will surely collapse, and you can then pick off your adversaries one by one. Your useful strategic location could even be used to broker a deal with Mark Antony as the enmity between you is surpassed only by mutual hatred of Octavian, heir to your oldest foe. Rise, son of Neptune. There will be a Pompeius Magnus once more. Indeed, rise, the son of Pompey the Great, Sextus Pompey. Here he is in the walled sediment of Syracuse. Nice to see that on this campaign as well. It's not unfortunately still on the grand campaign, but it is on this campaign, which is nice to see. So yes, we have this, the island of Sicily and the islands of Corsica here. So that's our literally our four or five sediments we've got. So we literally, look at it. Look at it. We are literally in the center of all this, aren't we? The triumvirate is tense, tense as it is between Lepidus, Mark Antony and Octavian. And we're there as a, s a fourth factor to this uh, this problem. But we're not al allied to anyone at the moment. So we're, you know, we've got our own goals, our own ambitions with this. Now as the advisor said then, really, if we're going to try and align ourselves to anyone, it's going to be probably Mark Antony to the east over here in Greece. Um, and then we can try and hit Octavian and Lepidus. Now, I probably think the best thing to do early on with this, I've got to be aggressive. I've got to learn from my Marco Manny mistakes. I've got to be care careful and cautious, but at the same time, not be too, uh, you know, not, not to be too sort of standoffish, not to be worried about attacking and moving on. I've got to be, you know, getting my army strong, ready early on and pushing on as quick as I can. But, you know, same time being cautious. So I think the first thing to do will probably to hit Lepidus' armies at Carthago and Hydramentum on the African coastline there. Obviously Carthago, the rebuilt Carthage uh, after, um, you know, obviously Scipio Africanus destroyed it. This is the... Um, the rebuilt Carthage. Um, so we'll attack there, I think, as our first option. Try and leave Octavian for the moment. Try and bide our time with him. Be stronger in our, in our own party, in our own power before we hit them. And see where we go from there, really. Um, yes, I think that's the only thing we can do. But if we can try and align ourselves with Mark Antony at some point, that would be fantastic. But, uh, <laughs> guys, this is going to be a tough campaign. Thanks, guys. You've chosen a, chosen a real tough one here. But let's get going. Enough of this now. So, what do we got building-wise here? But yeah, hopefully my Marco Manny has taught me well. If you haven't already seen those campaigns, check them out. They are on um, my channel. All five episodes. So you can enjoy them. We are pretty epic. Even though I did lose the campaign in the end, it was pretty epic. I did put up a big fight at the end on episode five. So it was. Uh, this is worth a watch if you haven't seen them. So I think what we need to do, obviously, straight away, is build military buildings. We've got nothing in terms of military. Our armies are very poor. Look at this. Uh, is it Vigelis? Oh, I can't pronounce that. Vigilates, there we go, Vigilates, what the hell? Vigilates, there we go, I've only got them and levies, so that's nothing. Sextus Magnus, he's got a unit of Legatus. Oh, uh, well they're not bad, they've got quite a decent fleet, haven't they? Because they've got ballista units, which is going to be handy for our siege um, battles. And they've got a unit of veterinary, uh, of veterinary legionnaires on there as well. Right, it's fleet in the north. That's got the same sort of build as well. So... At the moment, obviously, we're going to ignore Rome and that sort of part. So we'll bring bring these fleet, this fleet south, as this is our main target to start with. So bring them south into uh, um, Panamus. Panamus, yeah, 
Spanomus, yeah, I would go for that one. But again, pardon, you know, pardon my pronunciation sometimes, it's not amazing, guys. I know some people go, you're not saying it right. Well, I know I'm not, but uh, I do try. I do try. So what I'm going to do, it's silly cues. I'm going to build a field of Mars to start the recruitment there. At uh, Panamus, I'm going to go for... Oh, hello. These are the new building chains we've got now. So we've got meeting place, which will give us public order. Well, public order... It's minus four. Why is that? Minus four because of taxes and slaves, right? So slaves could be a bit of a problem on this one. So we're trying to not uh, try, or try to uh, not capture as many men in our battles and try and increase, because obviously increasing slave rate could make that worse. So we'll have to address that at some point. Our food is plus four, so that's okay. Um, if we're going to try and increase our armies, we need to, at the same time, be aware of that. So we may need to go for a, a villa, actually, in this... Uh, oh, we've got a villa here. So we can increase that one. So, we'll, yeah, we'll go for increase those in a second. So with this one, we'll probably go for... Ooh, do, 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 do. What's culture? Culture should be just pure Latin, it is. So we don't need to go for a temple. I'm going to go for a meeting place. I'm going to go for a meeting place, keep the public order strong, and then we can possibly up here. Yes, we can. We'll expand here at Illyria. And uh, that used to be Alicia, didn't it? I'm sure on the old campaign. We'll go for a pit mine there. And then we can't expand anymore. But I think a pit mine will help give us some more income over at Alicia up there. Oh, sorry, Illyria. Okay, I'll get that right in a minute. I keep thinking it's Alicia still. Illyria. Right, okay. So we'll increase food with these buildings here. And of course. The public order for for your squalor has been reduced at level two buildings now. So uh, you can see they're only minus one from as it used to be. I think minus two or four. I think. So what would give us the best food and balance of income at the same time? Oh, three percent army replenishment. If we went for grain pits and hundred wealth from farming. You know what? We'll go for grain pits. I think that would be extra um, worth our while at the moment. So we're bringing this fleet in. We'll bring this other fleet in to Agrimentium here. Our spy can start her disruption over at Carthago. Syracuse and the army here. So what can we recruit? My god. Vigilates and levies. Jesus Christ. Yeah, military uh, advancements is the key with this one. Dear god. Talk about basic armies. I don't know if it's because you're trying to represent it. If maybe it was, I don't know. You history buffs out there. Was Sextus Pompey was he a um, broke? Was he a ruined family of some sorts? So obviously, they haven't got enough income to be able to produce military uh, um, units of some sort. I don't know. Well, you know, regiments of uh, higher note. You can tell me in the in the comments below. Let me know. Right. So we've got some research already. So training reforms would allow us the auxiliary barracks, minus two upkeep costs, and minus two recruitment. You know what? I'm going to go for that. Three turns. I think that's pretty worth our while. And look at this. You can see already. Hostile, hostile, and hostile. We've only and in fact, look at that. He, the advisor said that the best one would to go for would be Mark Antony. But look at this. Lepidus' is Rome has actually got minus 30, 135, where the other two have got minus 140. So there's no way we're going to be able to. Sparta with these guys, are we? No chance. They're not even having any word with us at all. They're going to have nothing to do with us at all, are they, on this? No. So the situation currently is that Lepidus and Octavian are allied defensively to Mark Antony, and vice versa. But the tensions between them are all so high that, 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 that this will just break up very quickly, so the triumvirate will be pretty much redundant in a few turns. So let's try and... The media, they seem I to be happy with us. Oh, non aggression is not. does not rely on a form of words, my friend. It is found in deeds. Does that help? That does help. On behalf of my people, I accept. Thank you. The haggling is done, and we have an end to our talk. You see, what I could do at some point is just try and build relations with these Numidians, and then at the same time, I could try and either gain an alliance with them or try and barter with them to try and join my war with Lepidus, which will happen in a few turns. So that could be handy. But at least we've got trade with them. That's always a plus. So that's only four factions you know about. The, the three triumvirate and the media. Um, we know our objectives. Look at the party politics. Of course, if you haven't already seen this tab, look at that beautiful tab now that we've got for our new party politics. 
Um, so our influence in the is it the Senate? It is the Senate within our own party, I should imagine, is 49 to 51. So the balance is very solid, and civil war is not likely at all at the moment. Uh, we are respected, so respected by all, if not perhaps listened to by everyone. So we've put a bunch, are we sort of in the middle? We are 50 50 in terms of our influence as well, which has given us 2% research rate. Extra, two public order, one tax rate, and 2% morale for land units, which is great. And our, where are we in terms of our, just trying to find our Imperium. Imperium is level two. So, yeah, we, our Imperium, can't look at it from here. Our Imperium is, is then balancing that off by giving us 3% public order penalties, 6% political action costs, 2% political incident incident occurrence and 2% corruption in our provinces so it's balancing it off against our influence in our party so uh, we have to try and as we grow try and uh, marry the marry the two basically so you make sure that they are not over that so the imperium is not outweighing the uh, res respect in our party for example and of course as we grow that will get harder to try and keep civil wars down as well so there's a lot to take on now a lot more than it was I'm not even going to try and secure promotion for our generals because I think if I did that, our influence would be too high too soon. So if we you know, secure promotion for Sextus Pompey, he could go right up in his gravitas, which would then affect our influence and make it that we'll be, probably be um, be seen as too much of an influence in the party, too much of a, a threat to the other, other houses, and of course then it could erupt a civil war problem. So we'll leave it at that. So at the end of the term... Oh, of course, we've got an entire province, haven't we, here? So, yes, definitely. Let's go for some uh, bread and games. Yeah, we'll go for food and bread and games with the tax, definitely. So, there you go. Now, if you haven't already seen, I've got a new online battles versus series coming out to you all in October. The amazing Wolfman and Kai's Radiator have done a trailer for me. If you haven't seen it, it is amazing. Go check it out on my channel. And on there, I'm announcing the new... Trailer, the new it's like a trailer to announce the new series where I'll be basically doing online battles with you uh, on Total War Round 2 each week. So uh, expect a video out very soon to uh, discuss the details about what that will be. But if you haven't seen the video, the trailer, go check it out. So here we go, look at this. Alliance is broken everywhere. Edict issued and war declared between Lepidus' Rome and Octavian's Rome. So what the thing is now, if I go to war with Lepidus, this could have helped my relations Possibly with Octavian a little bit, but we're not ready to go yet. Right, one more turn for the uh, Field of Mars, and then we'll start recruiting. And another thing they've improved with this uh, Emperor Edition, and obviously 3LC expansion, is the graphics, the lighting, and the shadows have been improved immensely. You know, this is a summer month now, and the lighting of it and the shadows is superb now, really nice to see. So they've definitely made a big difference on the uh, the cosmetic side, especially with the UI as well. It's amazing that they've uh, put so much more effort into the game from this uh, from this free LC that's coming out. Well, this is coming out now to you. So there you go. Well done to CA. So this is again new improvements on the building chain at Olivia. Farming settlement. Uh, civil settlement. Right. What's the best one to go for? So we need again income. But at the same time, order, public order, growth. Oh, that provides garrisons of veteran, veteran legionnaires as well. Ooh, that's good. All of them do, actually. I'll go for that one. So, civil settlement. Improve civil matters up at uh, Alivia up there. So, okay. Everything's again building in nicely. So, we'll join this fleet up next turn. And again, we shall end it see what happens. Oh, Spy's going across. She's having a nosy now. But yes, um, apologies for the lack of content over the last couple of weeks. It's only because obviously with all these changes that are happening on Rome 2, I've been uh, putting off doing Let's Plays until everything's out. But you will be getting a full schedule of video out next week to just um, to show you and uh, notify you of what videos will be up on my channel on what day so that will be coming out next week um, after the vote video is finished for um, my new main campaigns which should going to be happening on the Emperor Edition of the game so if you haven't voted on them 
video is on my channel as well. Go and vote for them. You've got until the Friday the... F uh, what is it? The Friday... Oh, I can't remember. Dates. I'm terrible for dates. I'm terrible for dates. Yeah, 19th of September. You've got until the 19th of September. So go and vote if you haven't already for the main campaigns you want me to play on. And then once that's been voted and com completed, I will then get a faction vote. So I'll go and get a schedule video out to you all to notify you of them. So we've now got Legionnaires. Fantastic. So we'll recruit them. And we've now got... Uh, some uh, Velite, so we'll get rid of these levies, they're totally useless, disband them, so we'll give our upkeep cost down, we'll get rid of the two Vigilates, bring this fleet in to combine forces, and then at least we've got two veteran legionnaires we can take on, take this sh spy off the ship, start disruption, Okay, your disruption will start next turn then. Um, okay, so quick end turn phase again. Now there's four turns per year on this this let's play. Uh, so four turns per year, and there is no time limit on the uh, the the campaign finish on this one. So you can carry this on for as long as you want. The training forms are done. Superb. So that will give us recruitment cost. A nice decrease. Oh, lovely. Yes, we'll go for him. 5% armor. Four units. We'll go for that uh, household item. Definitely. Are you ready to I am ready. Let's get it going. And of course, that extra recruitment slot there. Awesome. So probably in another couple of turns, we'll recruit some more units and then boom, we'll go for Carthago. No messing around there. Now, looks like Octavian hasn't moved yet, and Mark Antony's still over in the east in Greece, so he's sitting tightly. Okay, so what to go for now? We'll go for land management, get that building chain going. That will give us 1% extra wealth agriculture and build the, the enable the building of cattle pens. Right, okay. But yeah, I, I like the. Um, the um, the free LC or the campaign trailer for Augustus, I thought it was pretty good. People were saying, "Oh, he comes across a as a wimp, a bit of a uh, a wet lettuce," but I think he's pretty good. I think he's quite good. It shows his his power struggle at the at the beginning with himself, with what he his ambitions are. But then at the end, you can see him you know walking out to address his troops from the temple. So it does show that he does rise. To the moment, it just rise to the hour of need. So I think he does present it quite nicely in the end, and it just show that he is ready to serve Rome and uh, the people. So yeah, I, I liked it. People don't like it, but I particularly did. I thought it was a very epic feel to it. So yeah, I think it did, it did, it did a good job there. One of my favourite trailers of the the uh, Rome Two series so far. So again, another options of building change are different here. We've got auditorium trader. Um, we'll go for food. I tell you what, I want to get food up as much as I can. Let's just keep going for the food and agriculture at the moment. Just get those foods and uh, wealth up from there. Uh, in fact, no. You know what? We'll do that soon because we need to concentrate on the uh, army to start with, of course. So we'll get two more Valites, two more Legionnaires. And then uh, I think next turn, you know what, we'll go for it because I think Carthage it's is on its legs legs anyway. It looks like there's no one defending it anyway, so I think we'll we'll be able to go for a, an attack next turn actually. Sorry about these quick turns, it's just a start up. Don't worry guys, we're gonna get going soon. Uh, it's all the the building up, the brewing of the storm which is gonna happen. But about is being complete. Awesome. So that would give us give us even more better units than we've got before. Um no, we'll leave it as the five armor. So what have we got that we can increase now with? Oh, so we've now got first cohort. Oh my god, that's awesome. That is awesome. You know what? I think if this was if this was a live stream, I'd ask you do you want me to carry on or just just recruit some more. And I'm going to recruit a unit of first cohort and the legionary cavalry unit as well. 
then next turn. I promise you guys, I'm not just saying that. And in fact, what we'll do is we'll just recruit these. To say cancel the recruitments, bring this army across to Agramentium, then recruit him from that town, and then we can go across into uh, the sea to Carthage. Oh, we've got another civil done. Another research complete. Civil research. So let's go and have a look again. What could be the one now? Oh, that'd be good. 15% extra missile damage and it was billions of, of target stands and practice castrum. We're good for that one, yeah. And I mentioned this as well before, Steam friend requests. I love it, the fact that guys are adding me on Steam and I do appreciate that, but it's not, it's not ideal for you more than me because I'm usually offline. When I'm recording now, for example, I'm offline. I'm not online anymore recording because obviously I'll get pop-ups every few minutes maybe so what i do is i go offline most of the time so no you don't i go offline most of the time but what I, what i do is if you do send a request to you know, add me as a steam friend i just right click on that and i invite you to join my steam group instead of here as a spider so if you do add me as a friend um, or in fact first if you don't just you know go straight to steam group but if you do have me as a friend instead i'll just obviously ignore it and then just invite to my Steam group instead. It sounds awful, but it's just better for you because then, and I can then to really, you know, talk to you more, communicate with you in a much better fashion than I could do if you're just on my friends list there. So uh, just bear that in mind, guys. That's all. Nothing to be offended about if you do get annoyed and invited to the group. It's just the best way to, you know, communicate with you going forward. Okay, so next turn, they look at them. They don't even know what's coming. They don't realise war is upon them. But we'll. Uh, We'll give them hell. We'll give them absolute hell at Carthago. And sabotage is successful. Amazing. And your spies increased in rank. Awesome. So Lepidus's Rome holds the whole of this province. So they hold Lepidus, Leptis Magna there, Hydromentum here, and Marcomedes. That whole coastline is secured by the Romans of Lepidus. So we're going to have to sort of Hop, really. I mean, I did. I need to b build another army up at Syracuse, and I'll start doing that now. Raise your general, and then we'll get a second army to come into Africa to start supporting the movements forward, um, which is going to be best. I mean, that would be quite good for slave unrest because of obviously we've got slave problems, but if they're going to go into Africa, our slave problems are here. Um, so it may be better to go for him. Fastus Lucianus, Lucianus Castilia, Castellini, is it? Uh, Catalina, so there we go. Yeah, we'll go for him, got quite good abilities. Raise an army. Go for some cavalry. And again, I always say this to you at the beginning of my Let's Plays. Legio 1, Fidelisis, and Legio 2, Mattia. If you want new names for them, put them in the description of the comments and I shall uh, change them accordingly on the best ones I get. Okay, so put him at Syracuse, and then we shall uh, again. No, 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 no. We'll uh, recruit to that army in a second, um, and I think we'll end the turn yet again, and then we'll go for the attack on Carthage. Right, okay, good. So the year is 40 BC now, so we've passed one year in the game to time so far. And they bring in a, a fleet down, maybe to try and reinforce Carthage, but uh, we're going to sweep in before they even know. So attack from the sea. Bring these units, these fleets into range. And then we're going for the attack. Declare war, yes! Oh god, they've got to... Uh, Oh dear, right, okay. Eee. Right, well, no, we're going to have to go for it, aren't we? Because, uh... Oh, ho, ho! Antony's refused to join their army. The men grow bored when they cannot look forward to... Right. Okay, so Numidia are actually allied to Lepidus, are they? Right, okay. 
But we'll fight this one. Let's do it, guys. And let's fight on. And then we'll have to watch, try and push on to uh, to Midia as well. Um, and take them out there, Midia. But ideally, what we need to do is try and get... It's, it's good that Mark Antony's declined to join him. And at the same time, if we can try and build relations maybe with Octavian to start with. The fact he's declared war on him. And then... Uh, Push on with that second eye from Syracuse into Numidia as well and to Lepidus. Secure the coastline of North Africa and then get a, a foothold on that coastline to then push out again. East and west. Okay, so it's foggy. I'll try and wait a little bit. Foggy again. Nice and dry. Lovely. Okay, now of course, guys, this isn't Carthage on the old. Rome 2 gun campaign. This is obviously a rebuilt cartridge. This is obviously a different layout to the old one. We can see here already, look at the, the colours. The shading is a lot nicer. And when, you, when you're when you playing the game as well, you'll notice it from your side as well, but they definitely improved the shading and lighting. Okay, so our fleet is nicely stationed out here. So, we'll bring the main units across, and we're going to try and attack in the harbour area. Attack there while our catapults will provide some cover from the shore. Here they come. Of course, we haven't got to worry about any navy from them. Well, we have, actually. They've got three our ships. But they should just dock. Yeah, they're going to dock out here. Right, okay. Right, so they've taken out up those three slots on the harbour line there. Never mind. So what we'll do is we'll go here, get these ships to attack this, these gates there, and then we'll go in that way. Give our veteran legionnaires as well to bring them in. So they all go in now. Come on. Get them to group one. Of course, our cavalry won't have the, the, sh the horses, so they'll just be uh, uh, without horses. But never mind, it's okay. Got someone bouncing off each other then. Jesus Christ, what's your, what's your friendship? Jesus. Got a lot of money they do to the treasury. Dear God. Come on. Which way are you going? Women drivers. Right, okay, so let's bring across these here. Now, oh, apologies, if any women are watching, I didn't mean that. I want, I'm not sexist. I'd... No, I'm sorry. Slap on the wrist for Warriors Weather there. Okay. Let's bring these in as well. They're not being grouped in? They're not being grouped in? Group 1? Oh, there's not enough slots to to get you uh, stationed off at. So, right, okay, we'll bring you this side. And then you can uh, go ashore there. But we'll take in the standard legionnaires as well. They can go in first, to be honest with you. Because they aren't as uh, expensive to upkeep. And, of course, if you lose them, um, you know, we can recruit them easily, easier than we could first cohort, things like that. So, Right, okay. Let's bring these in. Now, we'll bring in the Valites. They can go into the harbour area. If they can, there we go. Lovely. Start your approach. Then we'll get these catapults and ballista ships. Go over here. Okay, let's fast forward this one for a second. The fleet approaches of Pompeii. I'm going to have to get used to that. I keep, saying, I keep wanting to say Pompeii, but I'm sure it's Pompeii now. Someone has said to me it's Pompeii. And I'm, yeah, they're probably right, because me in punctuation just does not go. Okay, play, play, play. Right, Valites, you are getting closer to the shore now. And here come our ballista ships, so that's it. Go for the gate. I love it how the AI have stationed units are on the north wall over there. We're not coming from that way, just sort of let you know we're, we're going that way. But they are plebs, they're not very clever, are they, so... You know, they are the uh, the general mob. Oh, nice. We're impacting the gatehouse now. So once they've finished on there, we'll get them to fire on the wall here just to give us two gaps to go in, really, with. Give them a volley. That's it. Pepper that gatehouse. Okay, Valites are approaching now. Haven't got much... 
defence in terms of towers to fire against me, so we should be able to go in without too much fire um, against us. Let's follow this one in. Come on. Boom! Against the iron doors. Oh, what have they got on the north? What have they got on the wall there? Sorry. You know, Valites. What have they got here? Oh, they've got some veteran legionnaires. Right, okay. Of course, this is later game setting than the um, than the grand campaign. So you obviously got to, you know, enjoy better quality units from the start, which is this is good. I like that. Gives a bit of variation. As much as I do like the Estati and the uh, the Troyari, I like to obviously have a bit of variation. Right, so uh, how are the Vlites doing? Are they firing? Are you firing, men? Come on, get in further. Get in a little bit further. Tuck in. These are nearly ready. Right, pepper those, that general unit. Yeah, pepper that general unit down. Take him down. Right, down he goes. Lovely. Okay. Right, our armies are on shore now. As opposed to offshore. Legionaries are done. Veteran legionaries are there. Line them up. Why can't I group you? Is it because you're not on the shore yet? I can't group you. That's a bit strange. Oh, is it because you're not on... Okay, I'll wait a second. I thought I can't put you to group one then. Weird. How's this gatehouse doing? Seriously, come on, guys. <coughs> Nearly finished now. We've got so much ammunition, so we shouldn't have a problem with losing any ammo here. Or running out of it. Any of it, anyway. So, great stuff. How the Vlites doing? Right, good. And what have we got here, then? We've got... Right, that's group one, okay. I think it's because obviously it's somewhere on the other sh shoreline, that's why. Group two with these. What we got over here? Right. Vigilates can go on the left side there. And then we'll go for Valites at the front there. So Vigilates, Valites, Legionnaires. We've got them all. We've got them all. So what they got on the wall here? They've got some... Legionnaires and they've got some legionnaires, so they won't have to suffer any firepower except from the gatehouse. So we'll go in with. Oh God, okay, we're going with a couple of units. Hopefully, they can uh, provide some uh, support against the gate or some firepower against the gate. How are these doing now? Come on, we need it done now. Yeah, we're doing okay. We need it there. Maybe we should take him off, just put him on standard around just for a second, and that's probably the reason why. Let's bring our Valites out because. How are they doing? How are they doing? Are they getting peppered? Are they. Mm, they are getting slightly peppered. Yeah, we'll take them back out now. They've done, a, they've done a job. We don't want to lose them. We're not stupid. We don't want to lose them here. Romans the most you do cost money. Okay, the walls are going in. Sorry about that, my cat went behind the TV then. Stupid cat. Sorry. Right, I came back. Dear oh dear, cats. Don't ever have them. Don't have kids, don't have cats. There you go, that's the lesson life for you. Right, okie dokie. So. Alright, so we're burning the gates down now. They're going down at a good rate, 15%. Oh god, the visualies and Belites are getting hit from the tower. Bring them back slightly. Surely now, come on! Oh, that's all flammable round, that's why. Shouldn't be too long now, guys. We're making some uh, leeway, are we, in the the west wall, oh yeah, the west gate. Oh, we're starting to burn that down. The east gate's sort of hanging on by a thread now. The men are eager, look at them, they are ready. They are ready to do their job today. 
the newly recruited legionnaires of Pompeii, all in the memory of his father, Pompey the Great. Pompey the Great, there we go. Right, okay, they're ready, they're eager. God, it's gone through the door, that one went through the door. Right, can we, we can't make a run for it because even the gate's open, we can't go in because... Maybe they spring, maybe bring this unit, unit of vigilates in just to try and burn the gates a second because it looks like the, the, the shots are firing through the middle there. This is starting to burn, excellent. So I'm making good progress there. Now I do suspect when we do go into the city in a minute, the fighting will take a bit longer to win and, and, and to uh, for the enemy to break down because obviously the balance of the units have been improved on the stats. So as I said to you before, units will not waver as quickly as they did before. Morale's been improved, so uh, you'll probably get uh, larger and longer fights than you did before. Right, give them a volley of torches. That will soon finish them off. Right, fire damage is starting to uh, kick in. The visual aids can go down. I don't particularly care about them. We're not going to recruit any more into the army, so they die. They uh, they die in the order of Rome, really, and uh, and and that's it. They never will be remembered again. So cannon fodder, basically. <laughs> I think they've heard me because of dropping morale. Oh, how, how are we doing? Oh, it's on fire now. We're burning. Burn, baby, burn. Disco Inferno. Burn that mother down. That's what I... <laughs> God. That's what I say to them. Right, we're nearly there now. We're nearly there. Come on. The men are wavering. Oh, dear. Surely now. Come on. Right, they've gone. Putting the fast forward now just for a second, just so we can uh, get this battle moved along a little bit. Two more shots could do the job here. The enemy's gates right. Have been destroyed. We're in, we're in, we're in, we're in. Go, 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 go. Time to move in to the city. Time to take Carthage back for Pompeii. Pompeii! The entire unit has perished. Sorry, if I want to say Pompeii, I'm going to say bloody Pompeii. I can't keep going on with this Pompeii. Do me head in. Well, I'm moving into the city on both sides now. Excellent. Blites, you can start to uh, provide the support from the... from underneath. And the... artillery ships can uh, fire on the beach here. Thank you. Okay, move in, man. Time to experience your first taste of battle today. Oh, Jesus, look at that. It's crumbling. Amazing. Right, bring them in. Right, we're going in. We're going in. They're going to try and sit themselves like things at the beachhead here. So if we come across now... And we're going to move in with... Uh, they've got a number of units of levies up here. And right, they're going to bring their units down by looks of things to try and start to engage our units from below. So if we can try and keep them here for a second, just until uh, we get the gatehouse secured, and then of course we can move in and start tackling them. I don't know why it's going a bit... Oh God, it's going a bit... Uh, ooh. Laggy there, apologies for that guys. Right, okay. We're moving in here, come on. Bring in the plebs now, to take them down. Right, they're engaged, let's bring in our legionaries to take on their veteran legionaries. Hopefully we should have uh, the strength and numbers to break them down here. And of course, the new feature of the legionaries and any sort of units that have, um, you know, the 
Pila as a weapon can use a fire at will ability now, which is awesome. Okay, they're fine. They're fine, they're fine. The abilities are still fine from below. Then what, we're bringing these Valites again, just to try and hit this side here. Legatus. Right, okay. This is Pompey, this is Sectus Magnus, right, okay. God, he needs to be taken uh, care of. We don't want to lose him. Right, bring these in now. Hit the Vigilates here, come on. Okay, bring these across to hit these legionaries over here. The battle is turning in our favor. Oh god, we'll bring one unit back actually. I think they need to just make sure the support's here across from this side. Right, engage them on the side there. God, this lag is awful guys. We're going to have to sort this out for next time. I don't know what's going on here. This is not good at all. Wow. Legionaries! At the devil! I think I may just two seconds just turn the, uh, the shader down just to try to try ultra. See if that will improve it. Maybe extra extreme was a little bit too extreme basically. Okay, so we've pushed in against these legionaries on the left there. And we do on the right side here. They're going okay. Fantastic. Yeah, we're enclosing them quite nice in this area here. Bring in these Valites now to support from the sea. They can hit these plebs in the back there. Right there, Wavering, which is the Vigilate. I can't pronounce them. God, they're tongue twisted for me today. They are. Hopefully these Valites, even though they're general unit, won't survive for too long. So they should be taken down pretty easily. There they go. Nice volley for our Pilar there. Oh god, who's firing now? Jesus, do not start firing on your own men. Cease fire. Cease fire. Get ourselves out of there. You've done your job today, thank you. Okay, well, let's bring these Valites down. Once we've taken them down, we can then hit these Vigilates and Legionnaires on the back there, which is great. You can just go around the side here to hit these levees from that side there. Right, we've got wavering on this area here. Fantastic. Right, that's excellent. Right, they're wavering now, the general unit, so that should be curtains for them. That's it, they've gone, so we're moving now. Hit these units from the back. That should cause a massive morale drop against the enemy there. Watch this in first person, make sure we can see this first hand. Oh, fantastic, great charge in the back there. Oh, Pilar going in every left, right and centre. Oh, this is a good first hand fight, let's zoom in on this one. Twisting and jabbing from everyone there, awesome. Even the plebs are getting involved. Defending their home city here. Right, okay, Valites. Okay, I need to sort out this lag for next time. I don't know what's up with this one, guys. I'm not usually like this. I don't know if it's uh, just because of the siege or what, but it's. Uh, Never been like this before for a while for me anyway, so we'll have to look into that one. Okay, it should be going down quick in a minute. Of course, as I said to you before, I did warn you, these, these battles are a lot longer now. Be prepared for that when you play this game, guys. You know, these are going to be hard-fought battles now. So these episodes could drag on for a little bit longer nowadays, these siege battles, at least any episodes are going to have these sort of siege wars on them. Uh, siege um, Let's Plays of taking a seal like this, you're going to have a long, longer episode probably. They're shaking, come on now. So what we'll do, we'll bring in, just 
a couple of Velites to charge him in the back here. To give him a charge bonus. I know they probably you know, won't do that much damage, but especially against Legionnaires. But we'll just pin him on the side here just to see if this will start to kick in the, uh, the morale drop. Okay, here we go. Right, okay, they've engaged. Beautiful. That's it, get into the mix of them there. Come on, bring them further forward. Can we get them in range there, move them in a little bit more maybe? Can you just get a little bit further in? That's it, creep ever so forward. That's it, now you should be in range to... Uh, that's it. Let's give him some volleys. Don't hit your own men if you can, please. Oh, God, that's horrendous. Right, get out of there. Get out of there. That's it. The enemy were thinking, what the hell are they doing? We're just opening the gap to completely annihilate you. That's what we're doing. Oh, look at that. They're flying down in numbers. Right, okay, concentrate then on this one. Right, they can go and hit these in the back now. Of course, the fact that the Legionnaires are now firing at will with the Pilar makes the, uh, the battles a little bit easier for Romans, you know, Roman factions, because, you know, it just changes the dynamics a little bit of it for you. It makes it easier to uh, to bring down the enemy. So they've gone. They've wavered. Ah, close victory. Wonderful. We've taken it. Done. They must have mass routed on this right-hand side here. Awesome. So... Yeah, it wasn't easy. I mean, obviously, sieges are never easy on these games. You know, it's got to be hard. We're going to lose men, but uh, we did okay. We lost that unit of vigilates. Oh, God. Oh, thank God I'm not have to recruit any more of them. Um, so they've gone, and Carthage is now ours. It looks like Hydromentum is pretty much undefended as well, so we can probably replenish and then push in against them in the next episode. And hopefully, that's what as well. Next episode, I'll be able to bring down the uh, the, the lag. I don't know what's up with that one then. So, insensibility. I'm, I'm just trying to think it because people said that if you try and main, you know, occupy land, it, it sort of can cause public order problems a bit longer. But um, I don't think it is. No, 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 no. I'm going to go for that one. Occupy. I think it's just as the least public order issues we can get really. Our line's broken, right, okay, even more tense now. Okay, so that's quickly before we go, see what Anthony's thinking about situations like that now with us. He's minus 86 now. Come then, speak. Oh, hello, moderate. Seek a good marriage with us, and yet you have only the charm of an uncommonly I would love to take a... Oh, you said not... You said non-aggression was was what's it before, wasn't it? Unless I did I see that wrong? I'm sure you said moderate before. Damn it! What happened? What's gone wrong? Is it something I said? Never mind. Damn it! I thought I was going to get non-aggression with him for a second. That'd be pretty awesome. Right, guys, we shall wrap it up here. It's been a 47-minute episode. Wow, that's pretty tough. That siege lasted a long time. I hope you enjoyed it. As I say, I'll work on those. Um, those lag issues for next time. Hopefully it's just a, a short, small problem which will be addressed. I think I'll just alter the graphic settings, maybe the shadows a little bit to improve that one. I hope you've enjoyed this episode, episode one. Please remember to comment, rate, and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up if you're enjoying this first episode of the Pompey campaign. There we go, Pompey. And I shall be back very soon with episode two. And until next time, of course, as always, please do remember to check out my Facebook and my Twitter pages. And, of course, my, as I mentioned before, my Heroes of Sparta Steam group page. But until next time, this is Warrior Sparta for now, saying farewell.